Hi there, I'm Ford Sellers from Chauvet Letty, here with Richard Cadena, master of all things electrical. <laughs> One of the things that I have always found fascinating about sitting in on your classes or reading your articles or any of that is the way that you can take really very, very complex, difficult topics and break them into digestible bits. And it's something that uh, any educator needs to be able to do really well, but you're just very good at it. And I, I wonder, how did you come to be able to break down really difficult topics into really simple explanations? Well, thanks for the nice words, Ford. It's, it's funny you should ask, because when I first started writing, I wrote a column called Focus on Technology. And at first, I thought that I really had to impress people with my knowledge. So I tried to use like real intricate equations and throw, I'll make sure to throw in some math and real involved topics. And after I wrote the column for about six or eight months, I went to the first LDI since I started writing the column. And I had several people come up to me and say, hey, I, I read your column, or saw your, your column in, in the magazine. I said, great, did you read it? They said, oh no, it's way too complicated, it's over my head, you know. And after, when the first person told me that, I thought, okay, well, you know, that's uh, aberration. And then the second, and the third, and the fourth, and the fifth, and the sixth. So I finally decided I've got to take a new approach. So my approach since that point has always been, I want to write it so that my mother can understand it. And I've taken that approach ever since then. And when my first book came out, it was called Focus on Lighting Technology. My mother read it cover to cover, and she said she understood it. I, I have also read that book and recommend it to uh, pretty much everyone that I ever meet who says, oh, I'm interested in studying this, or I'm interested in this. I say, oh, you should start here. So Richard, uh, I always think of you as this great technical guru who knows uh, everything there is to know about everything technical, but I know that you've also written uh, a book about lighting design and about uh, the aesthetic, and so I wonder how much of what you do do you feel is driven by your desire, your thirst for uh, educating and for technical knowledge, and how much is really about the art and the, the fun of lighting. Okay, well, first to answer the first part of your question when you said you think of me as a technical guru, uh, let me just clarify that a little bit. You know, I was laid off twice in a span of 18 months, and it was at a time when I had just bought a new house, had a great big mortgage that came along with it. I had this 18 month old baby, and for a long time I didn't know how I was going to make ends meet and feed my family, and I had many sleepless nights. One night when it was about 2.30 in the morning, I couldn't sleep. I got up out of bed and I went into my office in my house and I sat down at my computer and I, and I was racking my brain trying to figure out how I'm going to make this work. So I decided that I was going to, going to um, write a mission statement. And I sat down and I wrote a statement and it said something to the effect that Richard Cadena is a world-renowned uh, authority on automated lighting and automated lighting systems. And I felt better. I went to bed. I woke up the next day. Uh, but I went down to Office Depot and I bought some certificate paper and a frame and I printed it out. I framed it and I hung it on my wall and it still to this day is hanging on my wall in my office and it's there as a reminder. Now do I think I'm some great guru, industry guru? No, not at all. But do I strive to be that every single day? Yeah, I do. And, and you have to in this environment because it's so competitive. It's, you, and if you want to get it uh, to, to just break even in the industry, you've got to put in a lot of time and effort. Uh, so that's the first part of your, of your question slash comment. The second part is, you know, I've always been very creative. I've always been artistic. I've always loved to draw and paint. And I've, and I've learned to play music at a very young age. And, and really that's why what attracted me to this industry is that it's, um, it's a mix of both the art and the science. And I did study electrical engineering in college. So the, the uh, opportunity to put the two together is something that you can't find in any other industry. It's, it, this is a tremendous industry for that reason because you get to express yourself artistically and at the same time you can apply yourself in, in the technology area. Uh, so I feel really, really fortunate to be able to do that. So uh, when, you're, when you go to a show, you know, there's, there's so much cool technical stuff that, you know, clearly you understand and you think is really neat. There's also the, the artistic part. How much, I know that as a lighting professional, I constantly find myself, at least initially when the show starts, looking up, trying to see what's going on lighting-wise. 
how much do you find yourself doing that? How much do you just get taken away by the show? And how much are you able to enjoy it still? <laughs> that's, a, that's a good question. You know, I was at a show recently. It was a rock show. And uh, the, the lighting was, was not very good. In fact, it was pretty bad. It was a distraction to me. And it's mainly because it was the real fundamental things. That beat, you know, the band was laying down a very steady, constant beat. And the lights were on a completely different planet. They were either completely offbeat or they were, the timing was wrong. And uh, to me, that was, um, a, it was a distraction to me. So I think it's real important that people in this industry should, should focus on fundamentals. You should, when you're working a show, think about rhythm and think about the structure of the song. Think about the emotion of the song. Think about the way colors uh, combine. You know, there's painters have been doing it for centuries. They've been putting uh, colors on canvas, and they know how to combine uh, complementary colors, or they know how to use their primary colors, their secondary colors, their tertiary colors, and they mix them in a way without, uh, you know, uh, in, in a way that is that, that it works together. That's what we need to stay true to. The industry needs to stay true to the art form while they're expressing themselves and complement the music instead of clashing with the music.